An update now on what prosecutors have described as a brutal murder that took place while the suspect and victim were already in jail. Today, an Easton man pleaded guilty to beating his cellmate to death and will now spend the rest of his life in prison. Devin Clark was in the courtroom today as the judge handed down the sentence. Devin? Well, Jen, Lawrence Peterson Jr. showed no remorse today after learning the 40 to 80 year sentence that he was serving for a violent robbery will now be accompanied by a life sentence. It's the result of a plea deal that allows him to forfeit a trial and the death penalty. There were no tears or apologies from Lawrence Peterson Jr. while in court Friday. He accepted a plea deal for life in prison, charged with homicide for beating his cellmate to death using his hands and feet back in August of 2013. Originally, prosecutors planned to go to trial and seek the death penalty. He brutally murdered him. Prosecutors say Peterson had a long criminal rap sheet when he killed his cellmate, William Keitel, at SCI Houtsdale. Peterson was there serving a 40 to 80 year sentence for a violent robbery. His motive for murder? Prosecutors say it's because Peterson wanted his own cell. The defendant's prior criminal history and things that he's been convicted of in the past uh, made this case legally um, suitable for the Commonwealth to seek the death penalty and that's what we did. Right now, Governor Tom Wolf has placed a moratorium on the death penalty, meaning no inmate for the time being can be executed. But the Clearfield County District Attorney says it was Peterson who made him change his mind. I'd be foolish not to. It'd be a terrible waste of tax dollars to go to trial when somebody's willing to plead guilty for life in prison. Peterson's deal also saved time for hundreds of jurors who were summoned to be screened for the case. Now, with no trial and no need for jurors, Peterson starts serving his sentence right now. Now, the judge ordered Peterson to the Western Diagnostic Classification Center in Pittsburgh, but it's the state correctional department that will decide where Peterson will spend the rest of his natural life. Reporting live from the Clearfield County Newsroom, Devin Clark, 6 News.